Hi everyone out there. I'm Martha Beck and I am thrilled today because I am sitting here with none other, a woman I don't recognize at all, though I've read all her books and they all have her beautiful picture on the cover. <laughs> and this one in particular is my new favorite ever, 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 which has been true of all of her books as they come out. But this here, what we're doing, is a book club of you and me talking with Katie about a mind at home with itself. So, welcome, Katie. Thank you so much for Thank talking you. to me. Thank you. Thank you. This. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh. you know, we can thank uh, Stephen Mitchell for for pushing okay. me to it. I have no that idea who you're talking guy. about. <laughs> Somebody you're married to, I understand. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> and one of my best friends. Okay. So, a lot of people who've heard of your work say, oh, yeah, she's the woman who questions her own thoughts. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've been there, done that. No, you have not been there, done that. This book takes you to places where Katie goes because her mind has been so questioned that it's very, very clear. And so what she says is where we're all trying to get a mind at home with itself and there's only one mind really when you get down to it so when you taste where she's the essence of what she's experiencing your own soul goes home that's what this book does but I wanted to ask you about each chapter okay at the end of each chapter is a beautiful quote that is pulled out of the book itself this is what it looks like at the end of each chapter this is chapter two, and the quote is, and I'm going to ask you to riff on this for me. The mind can never be controlled. It can only be questioned, loved, and met with understanding. So many people, we're trying to control our minds. We're trying like crazy, and now you're saying it can't be done. Well, I invite people to test that for themselves. For me, it's not a theory, you know. How could I control my mind? Um, if we could all do that, there would be no problem in our lives. Hmm. But the mind, to me, is like a friend. It, it, it comes to be questioned. Otherwise, it comes, often we believe those thoughts. We believe what we think, and it takes us to some very strange places, some mm -hmm. places that we'd rather, rather yeah. not be in. For one thing, you know, it, it, it can take us into depression, or Absolutely. it can take us into, um, um, oh, you know, we all have our own journey there. Panic, so, yeah. anger, I could give you a list of mine. Yeah, we said that. <laughs> yeah. so, so the mind... Um, as those assumptions come in, we can question them. Yeah. So I can't control my mind, but I can meet it with some understanding. Hmm. Also, it allows me, after inquiry, after questioning my assumptions, it allows me to experience the mind as it comes in. It's, it, it's as though every assumption or judgment or thought ends in a question mark. Hmm. So it leaves me in this place of curiosity and what is true and what isn't. And life shows me I don't have to worry about it. It always shows up. And, and um, a mind at home in itself, let's see, can't control the mind. Um, I love in this stage of how I experience the mind, just the noticing, you know, as I, as I notice thoughts about the past and thoughts about the future, um, it's so, it's such a privilege to be aware hmm. that this is not real, this is not real, and I see me of the past and I see me in the future, but that is not real self right that's imagined self just past future imagined self so just to notice that and to notice that because that mind is at home in itself noticing what's real and what's not right right it leaves this mind at home with itself and this this beautiful understanding of witnessing just witnessing and witnessing so me, noticing 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 let me check to see if I'm understanding because the place you occupy and, and you share it so 
so well with us goats down there, you know, but, but in this book, you go to places where you, you seem to allow yourself to show more of what that state is like. So self right now, which is the only thing ever, we only ever have this moment. So the apparent Katie self sitting in a chair, the apparent Martha self sitting in a chair. That's it. Me afraid of how people will view this video, future self. Me worrying about my hair, past self, imagined self. Nothing is real except this, 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 which is already over. Yeah, and, and as you say that, it's, I, I hope it, it keeps it, um, it puts in perspective for all of you out there um, that can follow that. Um, it's um, really, it leaves nothing to worry about. Yeah. So right now where you're sitting, I would bet dollars to donuts. You've got fears, you've got regrets, um, you've got anxiety. And as Katie so brilliantly said in another book, you know, you, you work and work and you always just end up sitting in a chair somewhere. <laughs> and Or standing somewhere. Or, or lying horizontal. <laughs> And what you're saying is, so for me, when I first read your work, I thought, oh, mind is enemy. Because self is okay. I'm okay now. But here come my thoughts, and they're going to scare the dickens out of me, and they regularly do. Although I have your method, so I can address that. But what you're saying is... You can slow it down in yeah. time and question it until eventually the questioning is going on automatically, and you're no longer you know, working with your thoughts, you're appreciating them, you're understanding them. Yeah, it reminds me of the Rumi poem that says, this being human is a guest house every day a new visitor. And he talks about anger and fear and rage. They're all, he says, meet them at the door laughing and yeah. usher them in. And what I'm getting from you now is mind is not my enemy. Mind may come armed to the teeth and screaming, but it is always my friend if I love it. Yeah. Like I love everything. Yeah, else we, in the world that just is. Yeah, we talk about freedom of speech, but what about freedom of mind? You know, mm. trying to control the mind. That's not freedom of speech or freedom of mind. Wow. That is war fighting against the very thing that we want for our citizens, our wow. country, our world, you know, for us all to be able to speak up and be heard and be clear-minded enough to make our own decisions. Wow. So if you want to support freedom of speech, you must allow your mind to say whatever it wants yeah, to say. Yeah, we can always question our mind, yeah, yeah. but to argue with the mind is what we're actually doing in the world. We're That's arguing more. with each other rather than listening yeah. and then questioning ourselves about what we believe about what we're what we're believing about what someone says. Yeah. That is the cause of mistrust yeah. and, and alienation and separation. So that, what I get from that quote and from that chapter is something brand new to me, which is even the thoughts that I aim to dissolve are my friends. And if I love them, they'll come in and sit down, put up their feet and end up maybe having a dialogue with me that'll wake me up a little. Yeah, it, it leaves mine the opportunity to enlighten you. For example, if if someone says to me something terrible is going to happen, mm. I feel the sense of excitement because <laughs> I understand the nature of mind, the nature of the universe, that everything is happening for me. And so, you know, it, we're left with, um, with, you know, I don't believe in terrible, but my mind's open to it. And I certainly have had um, several decades of testing this. I certainly <laughs> wouldn't bring it, you know, bring it here if um, if it hasn't hadn't been tested. So there is a way out of suffering, and that is to not do war with the mind, yeah. but to question it and not try to get rid of the mind, but to allow the mind to um, to think what it thinks and question it if you have a problem. So your mind is your friend, and Katie will show you how to get it to stop um, spilling things all over the furniture inside your head and settle and, down. And I love this. I, I love this chapter particularly, and um, and I hope you all enjoy it. As oh well. my God, you're gonna die for it. It's awesome. Thank you so much, Katie. Thank Thanks you, everybody. Bye bye.